All right, guys, we're going to be putting these lights on today, and we are putting them in place of these right here. And then we're going to move these lights, put them down here, kind of like mounted like this. But let's get started. And those other lights that are already on there, the little ones there, I'm moving them down. Those, those are terrible. And it's hard to find anything that's worth a crap for Freightliner Columbia's because they're Freightliner Columbia's. They're not Peterbilt's, they're not Kenworth's. So people don't really tend to put a lot of money into them. So the headlights that I've seen on the road, at least that are aftermarket, um, will blind the crap out of you. And even on the reviews online, people will say that people flash them all the time, even with the dims on. So those are the best I could do without blinding people but they are terrible and i've changed out the bulbs doesn't help doesn't matter what kind of bulb you put in there and i believe that's the second or third pair of um, headlamp assemblies i've had on that truck it's just like nothing works you gotta do stuff like this so we're gonna go ahead and pull these lights off of there hell i forgot on these it's easier to pull the lights off first We got all the zip ties off of there, got the wiring all loose, the lights are off of there. And I want them about right over here where my hand's at underneath this headlight. That's the brights, that's the dims. And I don't have enough wire, so we're gonna have to tip open the hood and see if we can get some slack out of this. Well, we had to trace our line. So you see it goes right here, up into here, back behind the frame on top of the frame and then back there to the batteries but you get back here and you can see see there's the line and we got a loop right there so there's our slack there we go we got our slack as you can see right here go ahead and get this hood shut here's the two brackets for the lights that were already on the truck. And this is gonna be mounted to this. So this is gonna sit like this still, but then we're gonna have this piece mounted to it. And we're just gonna cut just enough out of this to where it'll mount to the bumper. Don't wanna, you know, put this, put this whole piece on there. That'd be too much. This will be enough to give us a piece for one side, a piece for the other side, so actually works out pretty good because this just lines right up. Holy feet. We got our two pieces cut here so we need to go out here and mark our holes and drill them but we're also going to use this double-sided tape in between the mounts and the bumper uh, just so it doesn't tear the bumper up too much scratch it up cause any kind of corrosion i don't think it will this is galvanized metal but i just don't like having metal on metal contact sometimes so we're going to stick this in between it all right so let's go ahead and figure out where we want to put these at make sure they're even on both sides so i want this about right there works for me this is going to go behind the bumper yeah that looks good to me kind of hard to figure out where to drill the hole when you got the piece behind the bumper we'll go ahead and mark it on the edge there okay so let's put it up front right there we'll do one there we'll do one right 
there. So now we need to measure to those holes and 11 inches. Let's go ahead and mark 11 inches. It's right there. I just put a little mark on top of the bumper. Hold this up there. Just kind of line it up. Looks good to me. One hole right there and one hole right there. Let's get them drilled out. And as always, we're going to get our little punch here. Put some little divots right here. That way we can get our, get our holes started. That was easy enough. Let's go ahead and get these mounted before it gets dark. I don't know if I'm going to have time to put on the rest of these lights. We'll see. Oh, nice. Oh, I forgot to get some of that, um, some of that Loctite. Got our thread locker here. Always want to put thread locker on parts like these that get a lot of vibration. This front bumper definitely gets some vibration. Make sure I put this on there right. Want to put the bolts from the front back. That's what's going to look the best. We'll put two on the match. That one. That one. Oh, I told y'all I was going to use some double-sided tape earlier, but it's on the back side, so I really don't care. It'll be fine. There's a the bracket. Um, washer back here. Two nuts. Yeah, we better spin it on the back side. That way we don't put a bunch of marks on the bumper. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? I got the thread locker out, and I didn't even put it on. I'm losing my mind a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Thread locker. Just need a little dab. Doesn't take much. You don't gotta soak soak it down or nothing. Just a little drop, especially for bolts this size. Now, now we can tighten her down, boys. Boom, it's one side. That looks pretty good, in my opinion. Unfortunately, I only have one bolt for the other side, but it'll hold for now. We got the brackets on here, and now we got the original brackets on there mocked up. Everything looks good. Same way on the other side. So we'll go ahead and get the bolts put on there with the thread locker, and then we'll put the lights back on. Install these too, install the other lights. And hopefully, I don't know, I don't know if we're going to have time to get the wiring ran, but we'll do our best. But you got to make sure that the bolt fits in between these two knobs here. That way, when you tighten it down here, it won't spin. You can also put this thread locker on the nut. Because it's kind of hard to do it right here. That there. Sounds like duos in the house being bad, barking again. Anybody want to? free dog <laughs> I'm just kidding I can't have that liability all right oh come on it's too cold out here man I can't feel my hands you know it's all right though all oh, right spin on there there we go cut a little bit off of that boat because she's kind of long boys kind of a long old boat just a dab of that thread lock up uh oh how we gonna do this have to use the wrench can't get a socket down in there just a little bit at a time oh come on oh i forgot i gotta turn this thing to make it straight i forgot all about that is that gonna be straight sort of this could be a problem oh i should have put some spacers on the back side damn it why didn't i do that well this thing sits at an angle meaning when it shines, when the light's shining forward, it's going to be directed that way. We want to make it turn to where it's parallel with the bumper, but that's as far as I can go. We're going to pull this bracket off and put some washers in between the bracket and the bumper right here. That way it'll turn it, turn it a little bit that way. Actually, I got a better idea. This will be a little faster. See, I'm just using this ruler, put it across the bumper, so that gives me... That gives me my, uh, whatever the word is, plane? I don't know. And then uh, you just put it over here, compare it to that bracket, 
and then we'll get the bracket where it needs to be and just drill a hole and that way it'll be perfectly even right there looks pretty good ah i moved it that looks pretty good Hey, not bad, right? Puts me right where I need it. Kaboom. Well, it's mounted now, and that looks that looks pretty good. That's pretty straight. Well, today is just not my day, boys. <laughs> Jesus. I got to tilt this thing down. And look. <laughs> it's hidden on the bracket. This bracket's supposed to be flipped around the other way. That's great. Good news for me. That means I got to take this back off. Okay, so we got it now. We had to drill out another hole, of course. <laughs> and we had to drill out this hole because my new hole on this wasn't far enough over. But hey, we're, we're gonna get it. And it's getting dark. I don't, I don't know why I didn't start on this earlier today, but I was too busy watching Tulsa King, you know? So, sleeping in, laying around. But we got her this time, boys. Finally, now. Now we can put this stupid light on there. I still got to do the other side. <laughs> Great. One light down. Looks all right. Let's get this other side. You got to learn from your mistakes, guys. See, now we know. <laughs> we, know we know that we got to face this thing this way. <laughs> so we're going to do the same as we did on the other side, minus all the other BS. Drill that hole out. Get this bad boy mounted. Well, of course, I ran out of battery. My little microphone uses a lot of power. We're getting there. We've got the lights mounted. Obviously, you're looking at the back side of the bumper right now. There's the, uh, the smaller lights. And then we got the new ones right there. And right now, we're just running the wire, trying to make it to where it's not exposed. I didn't like that um, the way the zip ties were wrapped around this before. It just didn't look very good. So what I did was uh, just drill some holes in this and then I'm going to use, I got these zip ties like these right here, these kind of zip ties. So that way I can uh, just mount these with a bolt and I don't have to wrap, wrap zip ties around the bar. They call these screw mount, screw mount zip ties. And it's always easier to get everything laid out first. You always want to put this end down and then that way you can loop it back over. But you can see down here, got one there, one there, one there, one over there. So we can just stick the wiring on it. And whenever we're ready to secure it, just loop it on around and call it good. Well, we're pretty much finished up with this for the day. We'll get back to the rest of it some other time. We got to wrap up the ends of those wires though we don't want to get rain and moisture in them and a good way to do that is some ziploc bags and some electric tape so you just go over here to the end just stick your bag over it and then wrap the electric tape around it just like that she ain't going nowhere ain't getting no moisture in it so some of you guys might have been wondering just how bad these lights are and this is how bad they are and these are supposed to be aftermarket headlamps I don't get it. Um, I've tried, I think, three different headlamps on this truck, all kinds of different bulbs, nothing works. So you gotta resort to other means. Um, here's how it looks with the other lights. Pretty big difference, right? So now, I have to say this. I can't recommend that you guys use those lights that I just installed on public roads, on the highways, the interstate, city streets. If you want to that's up to you but my recommendation is a no because they do say off-road for off-road purposes only we do what we got to do at the end of the day you know that's amazing isn't it and i am on an oil field site right now so this is private property off-road purposes it is frustrating though that some of these new cars and pickups put in lights straight from the factory that are extremely bright that will just make you see stars whenever you blink and that's legal but somehow this is not I wish I had something that was halfway decent that I could put in place of the factory headlamps but there's just nothing out there everything is just complete garbage anyway guys that's enough of my rant hey uh, don't forget to like subscribe share you know do all the things even if you don't do any of those things i appreciate your view
don't get too drunk over the holidays and we'll see you on the next one and the next one will be part two of this video which will be the wiring hooking the new lights i got up to the battery and it will show the installation of the switch so stay tuned for that video i'll probably be coming out with it in the next week or so i'll be sure to check it out